Book two will take us on to known ground. Uh, it's already in book one this interest in the powerlessness of women in a situation where uh, many of them are convicts and there are only two of them for, to every ten males. And this powerlessness becomes apparent in the female factory in Parramatta where young convict women and older convict women, uh, mainly young, are put to protect them from society and society from them. And it's in there that a murder occurs that Montserrat and Mrs Mulrooney have to explore. And along the way we find about Mrs Mulrooney's own history and how she has been powerless in her turn and how she has found a place for herself in this weird society that was early Australia.